Hi, this is the Better Me 2011, and I'm coming with you with another cookie recipe. My favorite thing to eat is pizza, one of my favorite things. And so since I've been on my health journey, I've been trying to um, eat the foods I love, but modify them to be healthy. So the pizza that I love to eat now is my spinach and chicken, grilled chicken pizza. And... Um, it's under 300 calories. I'm going to have to add up the total and put it in the description box. So I know it's under 300 calories. Okay, the things you're going to need is some chicken breast, seasoning. These are my staple seasonings, Mrs. Dash, onion powder, powder, not salt, and garlic powder. Um, I use a little um, Mediterranean sea salt. It has a little less sodium than regular salt. And um, my um, peppercorn, fresh ground pepper. And we're going to be using as the sauce of uh, light Parmesan oregano uh, cheese um, sauce. And it only has <coughs> 60 calories per one fourth cup, but we're going to be using two tablespoons. For the crust, we're going to be using a string wellness fiber low carb tortilla wrap. They are. Um, 71 calories per wrap. We're going to be using a half a cup of spinach. And we're going to be using 2% Mexican four cheese, shredded cheese. And it is <clears throat> 80 calories per one fourth cup. We're going to be using two, um, yeah, about two tablespoons of that. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to seasoning, season and grill my chicken. And then I'm going to shred my chicken after it's done and I'm going to put it on the um, tortilla shell. So it'll be ready to put on the tortilla shell. So I'm going to go ahead and um, season my grilled chicken, my chicken. This is my grilled chicken and it's uh, cooking away. I put the uh, seasoning on it and I put it in a pan. I sprayed my pan with uh, canola oil and it is zero calories per spray. I'm going to let that side cook and I'm going to flip it and let the other side cook. Now while that's cooking you can go ahead and put your spinach in the microwave. I already microwaved my spinach. And we're now going to get the tortilla ready <coughs> for the chicken in our topping. Okay? Here's, here's our tortilla shell on a plate. And we're going to scoop out one tablespoon of our light Parmesan oregano sauce. We're going to spread that first tablespoon around. And we're going to add a second. Tablespoon. And we're going to spread that around. And since we're using two tablespoons of the uh, Reginald Parmesan sauce, we don't need that much shredded cheese. <coughs> and as you can see here, our chicken is coming along nicely. So on top of this, we're going to add our spinach. But first, our spinach needs to be drained. So I'm going to go ahead and drain our spinach, get it nice and dry, and then we're going to put it on the pizza. Okay, here's my pizza with the spinach spread all over it. And my chicken is done. I shredded it up. And now I'm going to put the chicken... <clears throat> on the pizza. Just spread it out. Now another thing you can put on here is um, onions and bell peppers. 
Um, I don't like fresh onions and bell peppers. What I would probably do with my pizza is I probably uh, saute and caramelize my onions and bell peppers and then put them on here. But um, that's the way I probably do it because I don't like the crunch of fresh onions and fresh bell peppers. Um, then after you put the chicken on, we are going to get two <coughs> tablespoons of shredded cheese and put it on here. And let me get my tablespoon because I threw it in the sink. Two tablespoons shredded cheese. And you know what? I think one tablespoon would do just fine. That looks fine with one tablespoon. So we're going to modify that. Instead of two tablespoons of shredded cheese, you can put just one tablespoon. Because I think that's just a, that's enough cheese right there. Okay. Now I have a little toaster oven. And I'm going to stick my pizza in my toaster oven. Because I think it's easier for something this small in a little toaster oven than in a gigantic oven. And I'm going to put it on um, 15 minutes on 375. And we'll be back in about 15 minutes. And you can see what the pizza looks like. So after about 12 minutes to 15 minutes, um, this is how your pizza will look. The spinach is cooked through, the cheese is melted, and the crust is very crispy. And you can also use the flat out bread to do this recipe, but I just like the tortilla shells because they give you such a thin, crispy um, bottom, and they don't get soggy. So um, this is my recipe. Like I said, you can modify it. You can add to it. If you want more vegetables, you can add peppers and onions and mushrooms. It would be delicious on this, too. So um, this is just a nice, quick recipe to try for lunch or dinner. Um, I input all the ingredients into my calorie counter, and it came out to be 241 calories. So in this recipe is anywhere between 240 to 250 calories. So, um, yeah, you can still eat healthy, but eat the foods that you love, such as pizza. So have a, a good day. Try the recipe, and I hope you like it. Bye.